to upload a how-to video for you guys every Sunday. Today I'll be teaching you how to create your own YouTube channel step by step. So I'm using my iPad for this to show you that you can use whatever device you have. And you can see this is the app. On the right hand corner is your account. If you click on the arrow, it will show you all the, the accounts that you have. And then you click on add account it will take you to another page which is a google page you click on create account and click on for myself now you can enter your first name so for this video i'm going to be making a new account so i'll enter whatever name comes to mind so let's use learn remlex so the first name is learn and the last name is Lamlex and I click on next. Now you can fill in your information about your date of birth and gender. For this, I'm just going to take a random date of birth. And also I'll just choose whatever gender. And then you click on next so if you have done that it will give you a different option of your email account choose the one that's best for you and click next now you have to create your own password so now that you have entered the password it will take you to this other page so on this page you have to enter your phone number it's optional actually so i wouldn't be entering my phone number because you notice it's a test account and so i'll choose keep if and it will take you to this other page where you just click on next and then you accept their terms and privacy conditions so i click on agree and there you go your google account has been created but that's not the end of the video because you haven't created your youtube account yet so now you go to my account and then you click on my channel or your channel here you can change the name of your account into whatever name you want so let's change all learn remlex to all things remlex let's change the learn to all things Okay, all about Remlex. Let's change it to all about Remlex. And so now you have created your own YouTube account. So now that you've created your own YouTube channel, you can now take things to another level. You go to any browser you have and click on youtube.com. It will take you to your YouTube channel because you're already logged in when you created your account. So this is like, to, you can see it's all about Remlex. To confirm, you can go to your YouTube app and check. Just in case you've forgotten the name of your channel that you just created and you have a lot of channels. So you see it's the same. Go back to the browser, click on the right hand corner, your account, and then choose your channel. When you choose your channel, it will open to this particular page. And at this page, you can customize your channel. So click on customize channel. Now you see this is how your channel is looking like. You can change the back screen, you can change the profile picture and you see now you how you view it, you're viewing it as yourself presently. And let's say we wanna change the profile picture. You just click on the icon and it will take you to another page. So if it's your phone, don't forget that another page will pop up and you have to go back to your previous page when you're done working. You click on um, photo library and then you click select whatever photo you want to use as your profile picture. Let's just choose an apple. As again, this is um, a sample channel. So I'm going to be doing crazy things here. But it's not necessarily what you should be doing i'm just showing you how it works so now you have to fit it within this square and then you can rotate it to whichever way you want your profile picture to look like 
and then you save it then you go back to the page so if you are using a phone again don't forget to go back to your previous page go back to your previous page where you are working and you see it would have loaded so now you check on the left of your screen and click on my channel it will take you to this particular page on this page again you will see an option to upload video but we are not going to upload just yet now we're going to youtube studio which is at the top of the page click on youtube studio and it will take you to another page and this is your youtube studio if you click on learn more it will take you to a youtube video where it will explain but we're not going to click on learn more so we just click anywhere else on the screen and so this is it um on the left hand is where you have a lot of things that you work on the dashboard the videos playlist analytics comments subtitles monetization and audio library we'll go through it one at a time in this video you can close you can minimize or expand the menu whichever way you want to do it so on the right hand is your channel analytics but because you haven't posted any video, if you click on go to my analytics, you will see that there is nothing much to see in this section. It's just blank. You didn't get any view in the last 28 days as expected because you just created the channel. So let's check out the left hand corner, the bottom part of it. You see setting. We're going to change some settings here today. So um, the first one is general. You see the currency is US dollar. You can change it to whichever currency you want. Now let's click on channel. And this is very important because you'll see that you have to enter keywords. So for example, if you're into gaming, you enter gaming, um, games. Um, the keyword is something that could link people to your channel. Enter whatever comes to your mind about your channel. Like let's say you're into makeup. Your channel is about makeup. So you enter makeup and then beauty, whatever thing is connected with makeup, you have to enter. And then there is option to choose your country. So the country at which you are in or the country at which you created the channel. So I'm presently in Ukraine, so I'm going to select Ukraine. So that's it but i'm going back to the keyword because um this channel apparently is teaching people how to do stuff on youtube like the channel that i just created so i'm gonna be entering you see educational tutorial how to do um how to whatever thing comes to mind that is related to your channel is best to put it on the keyword section because it will make your channel rank higher because YouTube will know exactly what you're doing on your channel. So that's something you don't have to forget and I advise you do it now. So now that you've changed your, you've entered your keyword and your country, you can now click on upload default. So upload default is actually whatever video you upload it will show the same thing based on what you enter in this section you have to be careful though with the title because not all titles you want to be the same but for the description it doesn't matter and make sure that all your videos have to be public because nobody will see your video and the tab section make sure you put as much tags as possible that is related to the videos that you'll be uploading because it will push you up on YouTube and make a lot of people see your video when they type to search. But be careful when you're entering stuff on this default section because if in case your tags are not the same, like your videos that you're posting are not the same, please do not enter tags at this session. Enter it when you're uploading your video. So if you have the same almost the same videos that you'll be making just fill in this um, default section and you'll be fine permission there is no need to check because you see it's the owner and community there is no need to to stress yourself about it there are not a lot of people that are going to be editing your channel for you so it's fine 
you're perfect just save this one now and we move on so for now let's go back to the YouTube app and change a thing or two you go back to your account you click on your channel and then you click on organize your channel and then you can click on your description you can add a description everything that describes your channel don't hold back you write about what it's about um, what you're expecting the dates at which you'll be uploading everything that can connect someone to your channel that would make youtube understands what's going on in your channel please put it there for the meantime i'm just gonna put whatever i want hello welcome to my channel because you know it's just a sample but please don't leave your channel blank i don't have time to write i don't want this video to be up to an hour so let's just save this one and then we move on so now it's saved Um, we go back to our YouTube studio And now we're gonna upload a video for the very first time so you see at the top of the page there is create and then um, You have an option to upload a new video or go live You see I've been trying to go live, but it's not possible because you have to have a certain number of subscribers or I've uploaded a certain number of time to be able to go live so now you click on upload video, you select a file. Let's just select a very short video, any type of video, it's just for an example sake. So I'm going to be selecting this 11 second video, 10 seconds actually. So now the video is uploading or your video is uploading if you have been following my steps and you can see that there are options to change the title, the description. So in case you had filled something on the description or title section, it will automatically be filled, but we didn't because we don't want to. And I advise you if you're filling anything on the default section, do not fill title. So this one will be get to know me because you know it's our very first video on YouTube. I type get to know me and then you can explain on what the video is about or if you had set a default everything connected to your channel and your links would appear on this description section. So here you can create like you can the thumbnail youtube will choose whichever video from whichever scene of your video will be as a thumbnail or you can select for yourself but i think on the very first video we cannot upload a new thumbnail so you just have to let youtube do it things but it's thing but whatever like your second or third video know that you can change your thumbnail and on your second or third video you can create a playlist. You can actually create a playlist now and start putting all your video into one playlist for people to easily support you. Also the audience. Now YouTube insists that you select whether your video is for kids or not. This video is definitely not for kids. It's not about kids in any way. And then you go next. So the next, you will see that there is an option to add cards. And there, if you if you had been uploading, there would be an option to add an end screen. You can see it, but it's not except like you cannot use this option right now because it's your first video. So if you click on that option, if you, it was your second or third video, it will take you to another place that at the end of your screen, you'll be able to, they'll be able to subscribe to you or check out your other video. But there's no option for that. So we click next. So finally we have the last stage of upload and we can actually either select pri um, private, public, unlisted or a scheduled post. So of course we're going to select public because we're excited to post it to the public right now. 
and then we click on publish which is at the bottom of the page now we have just uploaded our very first video to youtube and there's an option to share the link to whichever platform you want but we're just going to close it because we're excited to see what's going on and then we go to our studio and click on video which is on the left hand corner as you can see and yeah there you go you can see that you have just uploaded your very first video and it is public so excited to see how it goes we go to youtube go to my channel and you can see that 36 minutes ago we just uploaded our very first video which is get to know me so i intentionally uploaded a video that doesn't have any sound because i wanted to show you how you can work on it so you go back to youtube videos if you want to give a sound to a video that maybe when you uploaded it there was no sound you go click on my videos and then click on the video that you just uploaded or the video that you want to edit and then click on the pencil sign and now you're back to the place where you just left and yeah so this time we're gonna click on editor okay so if you click on comment this is just to see what's going on but we click on editor and the editor is where you can do everything that you want to do on a video that has already been uploaded so you can trim the video you can add music to the video you can blur out the video you can do whatever you want at this point of a video that you have uploaded to youtube so let's click on blur and let's see how it is so if you click on blurring a particular part of the video to take you to this section and you can see you can blur phrases you can customize your blurring but that is not our target so we're going back because our target is to add an audio to it so you click on the music symbol and then you add audio so at this point i'm going to remove the background music so that you can hear exactly the sound of the music i'll be selecting this particular page you can do and select whatever music you want because it's non-copyrighted, it's free to use on YouTube. So now let's select this. Or this. So we're choosing the first one. And then we click add video. Add the video. So you can hear how it's playing and how it's going to play on the YouTube video. So we save it and then we go back to YouTube to see how it goes. So first we have to go to YouTube Studio back and then back to my background music because now I'm not playing anything. So now that you've saved it, you have to wait for a while. It might not show on your YouTube just yet. I have waited for 30 minutes before I can hear the sound of it on YouTube. So I go to back to my YouTube channel, click on my channel, go to my audio video and listen. So you can see that the audio was added and we have five views already. This is the end of the tutorial. Finally, one last thing, you have to go to your app store or your play store and search for YouTube studio. It's best you have it on your phone as an app and check on your video whenever you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have watched this far, please comment down below the word set, S-E-T, so that I can identify you and give you some love. Next week, I'll be uploading how to get 100 subscribers on YouTube. Stay tuned. Please share, like, and subscribe. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.